Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Yahyo Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. Um, I would like to come from the um, book of Psalms, the book of Tehillim, um, chapter 115, Tehillim 115, starting at verse 1. Hallelujah. Not to us, O Yahuwah, not to us, but to your name bring glory. For the sake of your love and your faithfulness, that the nations not say, where now is their God when our God is in heaven and all that he wills, he accomplishes. Their idols are silver and gold, the works of men's hands. They have mouths, but cannot speak, eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. Noses, but cannot smell. They have hands, but cannot touch. Feet, but cannot walk. They can make no sound in their throats. Those who fashion them, all who trust in them, shall become like them. O Israel, trust in Yehoah. He is their help and shield. O house of Aaron, trust in Yehoah. He is their help and shield. O you who fear Yehoah, trust in Yehoah. He is their help and shield. Yehoah is mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear Yehoah, small and great alike. May Yehovah increase your numbers, yours and your children's also. May you be blessed by Yehovah, maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to Yehovah, but the earth he gave over to man. The dead cannot praise Yehovah, nor any who goes down into silence. But we will bless Yehovah now and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see plainly from what is written in Psalms, Psalm 115, that we are to praise and exalt the name of Yahuwah alone. Not, not a Mashiach, not a Messiah, not a Christ, not an anointed one. Not the Son of God, not God the Son. It plainly said we are His name be praised, Yahweh's name be praised. And as I said before, in pretty much um, ninety percent of my videos, whenever you see "Lord" in all caps, that is referring to the name of the Most High. It is not talking about the Messiah. It is talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's not talking about any other. It is talking about him and him alone. So you can plainly see in Psalm 115, it says, Not to us, O Yehoah, not to us, but to your name bring glory. It didn't say right here, unto your name into the name of your Christ or to the name of your son or to your Messiah bring glory. It doesn't say that. It plainly say not unto us, O Yehoah, not to us, but to your name bring glory. So just according to this right here, we will be out of order to exalt another name above the name of the creator. It's just that plain and simple. We should not be going around talking about bless the name of Yehovah and Yahavashai and Yehoshua or Jesus. That should not be, that should not even come out of the lips of one 
who say they worship the one true and living God. If you worship the one true and living God, how do you couple another name with his as, um, as you give worship unto him, as you give praise unto him, as you give exaltation unto him? How do you couple another name to his? Or even worse, how do you um, discard his name and replace his name with another? How does that work? Let's look further. Let's, um, let us drop down to verse 9. O Israel, trust in Yehovah. So we plainly see right here, who is Israel supposed to trust in? Now people say that um, King David is the writer of the Psalms and most likely he wrote this and that he was a prophet, priest, and a king and that he was speaking by the Spirit. So if he was speaking by the Spirit, as many of you say he was, why did he not by the Spirit say, O Israel, trust in Yehovah and his son Yehoshaphat? Or in his son that will soon come. Why didn't he say that? Why do we alter what is written to insert concepts that we believe, but it's not in the text itself? If we could just wrap our minds around um, the truth that when you see Lord in all caps in your English um, translations of the scriptures, that is referring to the name of the creator. It's not referring to the name of his son. So once, if we could just be honest about that, if we could just wrap our minds around that, we'd be a step closer to truth. We'd be a step closer to our redemption. Because we play a major role in our redemption. We are not worth, worthy of redemption if we are worshiping another God. If we are worshiping God by adding another God alongside him. We say we're worshiping God, but we're exalting someone else as if they're God. We cannot approach God with foolishness, with folly, with um, falsehoods in our hearts, in our minds. We either are going to be embracing Yah as our God, Yah as our healer, as our redeemer, as our king, or we're going to continue to embrace falsehood. And as long as we continue to embrace falsehood, we are now worthy of redemption. Let us read that again. This is verse nine. Um, I didn't mention it earlier, but I am coming from the JPS Hebrew English Tanakh. I'm doing this reading from the JPS. Verse nine. Oh, Israel, you see right here who is who is being who is the audience who is he, who he's speaking to. Oh, Israel, trust in Yahweh. If you are saying you are Israel, but you are going around talking about all your trust is in Yahabashai, all your trust is in Yahushua, all your trust is in Yeshua, all your trust is in is in Jesus. You are not being spoken to in this text. I'm not trying to say anything to offend anyone. I'm just being honest to what the text say. The text is plainly speaking to Israel and Israel trusts in Yehovah. Israel trusts only in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. And, it's a, and he is their help and shield. If you are Israel, if you have woke up to the knowledge that you are Israel, 
but you are still saying your help come from Yahabashai. Your help come from Yahushua. Your help come from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are out of order. Now I know many um, probably turned me off right then, um, deleted me. Um, you could disagree with me. Um, you have every right to disagree with me. But based off what I just read to you, you do not see anything attached after the Lord. You don't see an and there. So why do we attach things? Why do we add to? Why do we subtract? Let's see. Verse 10. O house of Aaron, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and shield. O you who fear Yahuwah, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and shield. So we see all the way around. Israel is to trust in Yahuwah. The sons, um, the house of Aaron, which is the priesthood, is to trust in Yahuwah. And it said for, and you who fear Yahuwah, trust in Yahuwah. You may not be an Israelite, but if you have come to fear the God of the Israelites, let your trust and your fear be in him and him alone. Verse 12, Yehovah is mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. And he will bless those who fear Yehovah, small and great. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the mighty Yah. So we see without a shadow of a doubt, if you are saying you are Israel, your trust shall only be in Yahuwah. And I say Yahuwah, you may say Yahuwah, you may say Jehovah, you may say any um, pronunciation you have, but you have to be referring to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you are saying um, you're the house of Aaron, which is speaking of the priesthood, the priesthood only has one God. They only have one God that they serve unto. And that is Yehovah. That is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The, the house of Aaron is not um, exalting God the Son, Yehovashai. They're not. They are ministering unto Yehovah and ministering back to the people the words of Yehovah. And then it's right here. I believe this is, and it brings um, like to those that are drawn unto Yehovah, want to serve the God of Israel. Those that will come to fear him, that will come to honor him, that will come to respect him. Yehovah will even pay you mine. But you have to come to him and him alone. And you have to live upright according to what he established as being holy, as being upright. Not your own imagination. Not what you deemed what is acceptable. But according to his word. And his word alone. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben-Levi. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time. Peace.